Uh, dear viewers, uh, greetings. In the previous uh, videos, we discussed about the physical method of sterilization. And in this present video, we are going to see about the chemical method of uh, sterilization, that is uh, disinfection. Disinfection. Uh, disinfection is the chemical method of sterilization. And it is the process of killing many microorganisms, but not all the microorganisms. Uh, the chemicals used for the disinfection are called as disinfectants. And next, uh, mode of action of uh, disinfection and disinfectants. The first mode of action is uh, disruption of cell membrane. Second mode of action is modification of proteins. And the third mode of action is modification of nucleic acids. Uh, the disinfectants involved in the disruption of the cell membrane are alcohols, detergents and phenols. And the disinfectants involved in the modification of proteins are chlorine, iodine, heavy metals, hydrogen peroxide, aldehydes, ethylene oxide gas, and acids. And the disinfectants or strains uh, involved in the modification of nucleic acids are crystal violet and malachite green. The first mode of action is uh, disruption of cell membrane. And the first disinfectant is uh, alcohols. Alcohols are widely used to clean the skin uh, before immunization or the vermipuncture. And alcohols uh, acts mainly by disorganizing the lipid structure in the cell membranes, uh, but it denatures proteins as well. The alcohol requires the presence of water for maximal activity. That is, uh, alcohols are more effective at 70 percentage when compared to the 100 percentage alcohols and the 70 percentage ethanol is often used as an antiseptic to clean the skin prior to the vermipuncture the second disinfectant is uh, detergents uh, detergents are the surface active agents uh, composed of a long chain lipid soluble hydrophobic version and a polar hydrophilic group which can be a cation an anion or a non-ionic group the detergents interact with the lipids in the cell membrane through their hydrophobic chain and with the surrounding water through their polar group and thus disturbs the cell membrane lipids. And the quaternary ammonium compounds, uh, for example, uh, benzalkonium chloride or cationic detergents, uh, which are widely used for uh, skin antisepsis. The third disinfectant is uh, phenols. Uh, phenol is the first disinfectant used in the operation rooms uh, by, the, by the scientist Joseph Lister uh, who is widely called as uh, father of antiseptics uh, in the year 1860 uh, but it is uh, rarely used as a disinfectant today uh, because of its uh, too caustic nature. Uh, hexachlorophene, it is a, a biphenol with six chlorine atoms is used in germicidal soaps uh, but concern over uh, possible neurotoxicity has limited the use of the uh, hexachlorophane. Uh, and another phenol derivative is uh, cresol, uh, which is uh, chemically, uh, chemically referred as uh, methyl phenol. Uh, it, is, uh, it is an active ingredient in the lysol. Uh, phenols not only damage the cell membranes of the bacteria and other cells, it also denatures the proteins uh, which are present in the microorganisms. The second mode of action is uh, modification of proteins and the first disinfectant in this modification of protein category is uh, chlorine. Uh, chlorine is used as a disinfectant to purify the water supply and to treat the swimming pools. And the chlorine is an active component of the hypochlorite, uh, that is the bleach and chlorots, uh, which is used as a disinfectant in the homes and in hospitals. And the chlorine is the powerful oxidizing agent that kills the microorganisms by cross-linking the essential sulfhydryl groups in the enzymes to form the inactive disulfide. And uh, iodine is uh, second one. Uh, iodine is, uh, is a most effective skin antiseptic used in medical practices. And iodine is used prior to obtaining a blood culture and installing intravenous catheters uh, because contamination with skin flora such as uh, the gram-positive staphylococcus epidermis can be a problem. 
and it's the iodine is uh, supplied in two forms the first form is tincture of iodine and the second form is the iodophores the two percentage solution of iodine and potassium iodide in ethanol is called as uh, tincture of iodine and the tincture of iodine is used to, to prepare the skin prior to the blood culture a uh, tincture of iodine can be irritating to the skin uh, but it should be removed with the alcohol the second form is uh, iodophores iodophores are complexes of iodine with the detergents and it is uh, frequently used to, to prepare the skin prior to the surgery because they are less irritating than the tincture of iodine uh, like chlorine iodine is an oxidant uh, is an oxidant that inactivates the sulfhydryl containing enzymes and it binds specifically to the tyrosine residues in the proteins uh, next is uh, heavy metals uh, heavy metals like uh, mercury and silver nitrate have the greatest antibacterial activity and they both are widely used in the medicine and medical field the first is uh, mercury mercury binds to the sulfhydryl group thereby blocking its enzyme activity and kills the microorganisms the thimerosal that is the methiolate and merbromine that is uh, mercuriochrome uh, which contains mercury are widely used as the skin antiseptics next is the silver nitrate silver nitrate drops are useful in preventing the gonococcal ophthalmia neonatrum which is caused by neisseria gonorrhea the silver sulfur design is used to prevent the infection of the burn wounds caused by many microorganisms the next disinfectant is uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, hydrogen peroxide is used as an antiseptic to clean the wounds and to disinfect the contact lenses the effectiveness of the hydrogen peroxide is limited by the organism's ability to produce the catalyst uh, that is an enzyme that degrades the hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 into water and oxygen the bubbles produced when uh, peroxide is used on wounds or formed by the oxygen arising from the breakdown of h2o2 by the tissue catalysis and the h2o2 uh, is an oxidizing agent that attacks sulfhydryl groups thereby inhibiting the enzymatic activity of the enzyme and kills the microorganisms uh, the next disinfectant is uh, aldehydes uh, formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde are the two aldehydes which are widely used as the disinfectants uh, formaldehyde which is available as 37% uh, solution in water that is the formalin uh, denatures the proteins and nucleic acids which are present in the microorganisms the both uh, proteins and nucleic acids contain essential nh2 and oh groups uh, which are the main sites of alkalization by the hydroxy methyl group of uh, formaldehyde the second group of aldehyde is uh, glutaraldehyde the glutaraldehyde which has uh, two reactive aldehyde groups is 10 times more effective than the formaldehyde and it is uh, less toxic when compared with other things in hospitals glutaraldehyde is used to, to sterilize the respiratory therapy equipment the next disinfectant is uh, ethylene oxide the ethylene oxide gas is uh, used extensively in the hospitals for the sterilization of heat sensitive materials such as uh, surgical instruments and plastics the ethylene oxide gas uh, kills the microorganisms by alkylating both proteins and nucleic acids which are present in it uh, there is uh, the hydroxy ethyl group attacks the reactive hydrogen atoms on the essential amino acids and hydroxyl groups which are present in the microorganisms uh, some acids and alkalis are also playing a major role as a, a disinfectant and the strong acids and alkalis kill the microorganisms by denaturing, uh, denaturing its proteins and the weak acids such as the chemical preservatives like uh, benzoic acids propionic acids uh, and citric acids are frequently used as a food preservative uh, because they are uh, bacteriostatic in nature uh, it can able to uh, maintain the population of the bacterial cells within the any food substances or any other uh, materials so it is bacteriostatic in nature the third mode of action is uh, uh, modification of nucleic acids uh, two dyes that is the crystal violet and the malachite green are playing a major role in the modification of nucleic acids in the microorganisms the crystal violet is used as a skin antiseptic 
and the action of the crystal violet is based on binding of the positively charged dye molecules to the negatively charged phosphate group of the nucleic acids and this binding will kill the microorganisms. Uh, the second disinfectant or the dye uh, which is involved in the modification of uh, uh, nucleic acids in the microorganisms is uh, malachite green. A uh, malachite green, a yeah, triphenylamine dye uh, that is, this is also like a crystal violet uh, is a component of Lowenstein Jensen medium uh, which is used to, to grow the mycobacterium tub tuberculosis uh, which is widely uh, responsible for causing the tuberculosis uh, uh, disease in human beings. And the selective medium for the mycobacterium tuberculosis is uh, Lowenstein Jensen's uh, medium. In Lowenstein Jensen's medium or LJ medium, uh, the time malachite green inhibits the growth of unwanted organisms in the sputum sample uh, during the six weeks uh, incubation period. And that's all about the chemical method of sterilization or uh, disinfectants. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you.